my stomach had gotten really so I, I was thin the whole time so when I say I'm fat it was like of course I was still very thin I think so I mostly got 105 pounds what happened is I lost my body so like even though I was not weighing a lot on a scale I had lost the tone and stuff and so my stomach is still trying to get it back like because I had such a fit stomach for so long but then it became just kind of like this mushy yeah blah. I mean I got the same issue when you started eating like gluten uh-huh so now I'm trying to get that back and that's why like I've been a little bit self-conscious to like even be in like a bikini it's a very rare it was a very rare feeling to have that just burn and metabolize every day that's why we were in such a good mood right and that's why like now I don't really crave the partying because I was craving the partying because it was a relief from the constant wanting to eat but now I finally broke through that and I think the way what it is that you're breaking through is the candida overgrowth because what candida do is they literally because they're an organism living inside you so they can control your brain in the sense because like they say hey we're hungry eat more you know what i mean that's what they do all the time hey i'm hungry i want more sugar what they crave the is fungus. sugar salt and fat because they live in fat they live in your fat cells and then they really like to eat sugar and salt but if you stop eating sugar and salt like if you all then they say fine just give me a bunch of fat so that's why they continue to live even if you're overdoing your meat because then they're just living off the fat. They're still fat and happy in a sense, as they say. And so until you lean down the amount of food you're eating and, and you say, oh, eat chicken. Chicken has other problems because they feed them grains. We like the grass-fed. The only grass-fed organic, um, really the only grass-fed organic protein you can get is beef. But beef can be very fatty. So you have to make sure you're not eating too much beef because then you're still going to have the candida overgrowth problem. And you might not have, like, let's say you have never had that problem, then you might be able to eat a little bit more beef or eat some of these other things. But I, don't, I think for anybody, they're going to have an issue with the kind of food situation we have going on right now. But let's that, say that could be the that could be the issue. That could be what when people say things are genetic, the candida yeah. could be con- genetic. In other words, some people maybe don't have it passed down to them. Right, but it's still not genetics that's causing that. What it is is their family ate too much sugar. And then right away they gave the child too much sugar. And even maybe in the womb they gave the child too much sugar. Like the mom was eating so much sugar while she was pregnant that then when the baby was born it maybe already had the candida overgrowth. But it's not genetics, it's a uh, more even a culture or a lifestyle of your family. So like if your family eats certain things then yeah, for generations you're all fat. You know, oh, I can't scratch your head because you guys have been choosing these bad. Like in most people, what it is is they don't know to eat a lot of meat. They think what's healthy is eating fruits, veggies, salads, things like that. And they're like, oh yeah, we're so healthy, we're vegans. And then they get fatter and fatter and fatter because what you need is a ton of meat. And that's it, really, just me. Oh, I put the eggs. I wonder if someone took them this morning. I put a dozen eggs out. I don't. Richard hates get rid of food, but I think. Once you've decided you don't want to eat that, like for any any amount of time, if you go, you know what, that's not something I want on my diet, then don't say, let me keep it around for another time. You've made the decision you don't want that in your diet. All that's going to happen is you're going to eat it another time and you're going to struggle again because you're going to get fat again. And you're like, eh, feel sluggish. Eh, what's wrong? Well, you ate the things that you already said you shouldn't eat. And so people will do that. They'll be like, oh, I'm going to cut cookies out but I'm gonna leave the cookies because at one time I might want a cookie. Well, you're just gonna be in the exact same position again. So you know, much how, you know how much harder it is to eat food if you have to go get in your car, drive to the store, or drive to the fast food restaurant, or wherever it is, go get it every time you need to eat than if it's in your own fridge, or drive to the, you know, whatever. For us, it's Whole Foods. Do you know how much more of an effort? Like if you say, do I want eggs? Okay, but do I want to go drive all the way to Whole Foods to get eggs? Now I'll pass it like, oh yeah, I got eggs in the fridge. Let me make some eggs. You see what I mean? So you have to make it harder for yourself. And so I have thrown out so much food over the years because it's like, and even, yeah, maybe we did later buy it again because we stumbled, but like, at least it wasn't like so readily available. And especially if you're starting a diet, well, by the time you decide to fall off your diet, uh, the thing's probably going to be expired unless you're really bad at diets. <laughs> but it would help you stick with something for a couple months or something, you know what I mean? So if you're holding on to some eggs or, you know, like, toss them or... But um, we only eat organic beef now, that's it, beef and water. And these are, these are, we like sparkling water, we like these little LaCroix, the pure ones that can't have any flavors because then you have more issues. So what are you going to eat in... And we like Perrier's and um, Mountain Valley waters.
What are you gonna eat when you if you were to go to New York City? See, that's the problem is I want to continue to eat my beef, but if I go there and I'm trying to make money, the hotels that have a kitchenette are way more expensive than the hotels that basically are just a basic hotel. But it's very hard to cook in those. Most of those you set the fire alarm off even with a smokeless grill because it's not really smokeless. But I would try to get a grill like this if I could. This one's really good. And I would try to cook in my room. But if I couldn't, then probably what would happen is I'd probably start being bulimic again. And I don't like that because Do I'm like just going to start getting my body back to normal. And then if every time I went to New York, I got off course again, it'd just be kind of annoying. So I don't know if I want to do that. But... Um, yeah, yeah right, right. it's complicated. It's getting complicated. Yeah, it's, let's it's hope, sounding let's make it work more here. and more complicated. Here's another thing we could do. That's why we're not there. Maybe our social media will take off. Well, that's the big reason why we're not in New York is because of all of these things. So every time when I even think of traveling, even with just me, you go, okay, good. All I need to carry on for the airport. But then you're like, wait, now when I get there, I'm still in the same predicament. Yeah, I don't need as big a place, but I kind of still do because the ones, the kitchenettes are always bigger. You know what I mean? It's so almost it's cheaper like, with two now. Yeah, so yeah, because now I'm like, wait, now we're going to have to make double rent. Double food. Double food, double everything. Well, not double food, but... Yeah, but, like, I mean, it's kind of double, like, everything. If, like, you're there, I'm here, you know. Yeah, it does add up. Yeah. We'll have to think about it. We'll see how it goes. I think we'll make it work here. I think we've always made it work. You just have to really cut back during the summer. Oh, during the summer, maybe you have to do more chica weed. But, man, I think the weed is a priority because we feel so much happier. But I do think while we're eating You might have to go. You might have to travel. No, no, you, no. no you know what's going to happen is now that we're eating better already, like everything will make you feel better. Because we did do Chico weed for a long time and we were really happy when we were eating good. And, then and I feel say, great today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you're eating good. It's not even about the weed because you're doing basically what you've been doing. It's also, you know, getting the sunshine is really helping too. Right. All of these things. But I'm saying the biggest factor, like if we had gotten our diet back in check got, in New York. I got some York, new shorts on. No, but if we had gotten our, yeah, pull these up to get a little more sun. If we Fancy had gotten shorts. our um, diet in check in New York, we would have felt a lot better. But it would have still been hard because you wouldn't have had the sun and you still have all the stress. And where can I get my fat down? But my what happened is our diet got so out of whack there. Even when we were eating the beef, we were eating way too much beef. I mean, remember every time you'd be like, I'm hungry, we make another meal? I mean, do you not even know how many meals we'd have a day? I don't even know. Six sometimes. I mean, that's so much meat. It's just so, it's also just so much volume. Think about that. Think about just the volume of meat. So like, since why we're feeling better is I already cut out like four to five pounds. So per day, I just cut out like four to five pounds of meat. Just think about the volume of that that we are putting in our body. Four to five pounds of meat now we're down to six pounds but we were going up to 10 12 you know we were climbing up we were just like we were so depressed like if we ever got hungry we were like oh you know what food. we're gonna be able to get ourselves new uh we're still in march we're like in the first month of like being rid of this pandemic that went on for what like two and a half years it's ridiculous didn't it start in 2019 is when they first started in 2019 it's when they first got the case of it. it was like december 2019 and now we're in March 2022, and we're finally done with this pandemic nonsense. It feels so good out here. Oh, man, it's great. This is the thing in New York, you I never get sun. You know what? Also, I miss the palm trees. I know, I did too. I, I really love, love the palm trees. I, I personally love palm trees. I think they're the prettiest little trees. They're so cute. They I love so palm much, trees. They have so much personality. Poor they're characters, so especially cute. when they get their little head shaped. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they hate that. They though. hate it. Because they, they look so ridiculous for a minute. They love just being able to go bushy. But they kind of need it because it, it makes them feel a little better, but at first they don't like it. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I got buzz cut. But later they kind of like it because it makes it cooler for them. So yeah, hot. makes them cooler. <laughs> Have you th- I, thought, I, thought it was I know, movies. I keep getting, well, you bring one out and we share it. It's hot out here. I've just been drinking water like crazy because I'm like, I, I know I was like super dehydrated. Yeah, and I just, so I figure if we're going to spend money, let it be on some waters. And those cans are so much easier to drink. Than the glass, I find. Oh, the other thing too is like, yeah, just I don't know. The nature and stuff. They have nature there, like they have a park, but that feels more like a zoo. With the- well, the parks there feel very um, fake because they've basically um, manicured them so much to like stay, you know, uh, like so like. They got the vibe. No, but they've manicured their parks and, and uh, all their nature there so much that it kind of makes it just feel fake, even though it's real. But, like, it's just so nicely kept. Even Central Park now is so nicely kept. 
that it doesn't even feel real. It's Everything like, there is perfect. Yeah, it's like so perfect. It's like it almost feels like fake grass and fake trees because it's like so perfectly manicured. It doesn't feel very much like nature. I think nature's supposed to be wild and kind of like feel like free and stuff. There, it's like so manicured and perfect. They clean like crazy there. They, their cleaning crew just keeps that place like. So, oh, that's gonna continue. Okay, yeah, yeah, our bug's over then. I thought someone was just starting something and turning off. What's going on? Yeah, that's gonna continue. Yeah, okay, and I well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, Probably know that your thing turned off. Or do you no, see? No, I, I got here. Yeah, you got anyone? Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm controlling the shit. Let's put that inside. It's so good. Don't get too hot. Thanks. Thanks for watching.